Well, it's been a while. But we're in a graveyard again. Yes. That's not yes. going to seem true when you watch this because we're going to go to do wreaths across America at the National Cemetery in Las Vegas, which yeah. we'll, we'll publish before this video. Yeah. So it's going to look like we've been to one recently, we but we haven't. Have <laughs> yeah. And the reason that we're here is because uh, there's some very significant people who are buried here. Yes. And Too we have some very interesting facts about said people. It was interesting reading about them. like you know like the famous stuff about these people but yeah you don't know the true person these are little known stuff stuff yeah. that you probably wouldn't know unless we told you <laughs> because you, we wouldn't have known had Google we not them. like googled yeah. yeah so anyway there's a couple of famous people out here we're gonna show you their graves and we'll tell you a, a few cool facts about them also okay Well, the first one, in case you couldn't read it, was Sonny Bono, which is crazy because there's not even like print on it. It's just his signature. It's a signature, which and I the like. the dates, yeah. But the simplicity of it is, is what's boggling me. It is, because he's like a celebrity, a congressman, a man. Well, well, I don't know, blew all the stuff. Yeah. Anyway, let me tell you some of the little known facts. <laughs> anyway, Sonny Bono was the mayor of Palm Springs. Yes. He was a congressman for the state of California. Yes. Of course, you know, he was married to Cher. Sure. And they divorced in 1974 because of irreconcilable differences and they had a whole deal. Anyway, yeah. um, he remarried, but since, uh, to, I remember what, I remember what her name was. Yeah, I Mary, I think. Mary, I think it, it was Mary. Mary. But anyway, um, he was a congressman from 95 to 98 until he was actually killed in the skiing, skiing accident. Yeah. And his wife actually said that he had issues with prescription medications and she believed it was a contributing Who in Hollywood doesn't yeah, have a exactly. prescription. But she believed it was a contributing factor to the accident. Which I could see because yeah. I mean when he died everyone's like, How did he hit a tree? How do you not see the tree? How do you lose that much control? I'm not a skiing guy, but anyway yeah. he was skiing in Lake Tahoe. But if if there's mm -hmm. truth to which her beliefs, then yes, it could have impaired his ability to That's react true. to a tree. I could see though how even Stone Cold Sober you could just just, yeah. Not be able to hit the brakes, to <laughs> panic, and smack a tree. I, yeah, I could understand I guess, that. But, but anyway, there were some little known facts about him. But again, the simplicity of the of the placard, of the marker, is crazy to me. Being that he was a celebrity, a mayor, yeah. a congressman. And, uh, well, you know, if he was I mean, like... if he lived a simple life personally, maybe that's why. Yeah, and if he was dead set on being buried at this cemetery. Because at this cemetery, all the all markers the are, 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 are flat. Yeah. So it doesn't really give you the opportunity to have a big elaborate Lever. headstone like a lot of the places we see back east. It just boggles me as to why we only have a birth year and a death year. Yeah. And not actual month dates in years. And it just says, and the beat goes on. So there's nothing like loving father, husband, mayor, congressman, whatever. No, There is a little simple. marker over here uh, that they put up, you know, kind of for all the important people here. Yeah. And it does include Sonny Bono's so, name on it. So. So that's cool, but anyway. Yeah, very interesting though. Yeah, there's oh. another famous person yeah. that is intermed here. Yes, there is. We're gonna go see him right now. All right. <laughs> Well, there's the other one. Old Blue Eyes. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. And again, simple. Yeah, it must be a standard in this cemetery. Not a lot going on. Everything's uniform. Which is crazy because 
you would think they would either they would get buried somewhere where they would allow them to have the elaborate, the elaborate thing because we've seen a lot of celebrities who have some really elaborate stuff yeah george jones yeah hank williams senior you know johnny um, cash johnny cash selena selena yeah. i mean those had some very elaborate stuff going on yeah. where uh frank sinatra and sonny bono i guess probably because they're here very simple yeah. he is very close to his parents his yes. parents are a couple of plots down and, and his wife is right next I to him i guess his last wife he had <laughs> the last wife at the time of his death i guess yeah. is there but so here's some here's some fun facts about old frank sinatra yes. that you may not know because we looked up stuff that would be cool to talk about while we're here so yeah. first of all he was almost dead when he was born that's crazy they thought he was dead and he was born in his home and doctor put him on the kitchen counter thought he was dead which is one that's just gross i don't care alive or dead <laughs> you don't put a, a out of the womb child on your kitchen counter so the grandmother goes over there grabs him up <laughs> runs him under some water and he starts, he starts crying, crying. That is <laughs> he's alive ridiculous and yeah, they had to use forceps to get him out so i don't know if you know this he has a scar on the left side of his face mm -hmm. so he was very uh self-conscious self-conscious and picky about being filmed or photographed on the on his on left, left side. side so a lot of the photographs you'll see of frank Sinatra will be on his right, right side Which, so he's like get me on my good side yeah that was definitely not his good side to him <laughs> yeah so that was very cool so he yeah. still has the scars there um it's crazy because the the brazen brits just did a video about ava gardner, ava gardner. and frank sinatra was, married, was married to married ava gardner to at one point and because of that relationship frank sinatra tried to commit suicide four times she must have been one hell of a woman if you're yeah. willing to try to kill yourself over her and they times. said, a pub, one of the publicists said, it was all related to Ava and the drama of that relationship. Yeah. And all took place during that marriage. So probably good they got divorced. Yeah, the other or else one Frank healthy, but... might have eventually got it done. He'd have succeeded at some <laughs> point. So he did that. Yeah. And he, another cool fact, because it's close to Christmas time, is this, this fun fact. This blows my mind. So the part, the yeah. role of... John McClane. John McClane on Die Hard was originally offered to Frank Sinatra. Yeah not in a million in one years could i imagine that movie being done by frank had Sinatra. he not turned it down the die hard you know and love today <laughs> would not have bruce willis in it at all there probably wouldn't have even been sequels because at the time when he turned it down frank sinatra was 73 years old yeah he wouldn't have been he would have been doing, doing no sequels, sequels. No. so it's probably good for everybody that, that, that bruce got that role instead but, of frank I mean, could you imagine i just don't see him in that role yeah. i'm surprised he was first choice it is very it's very interesting the yeah. last thing that's interesting we're going to talk about because we're here and we're standing right on top of his grave right now the things that he's buried with yeah very strange he had some vices let's say <laughs> that so frank yeah i guess he liked tootsie rolls because he has some tootsie, tootsie rolls buried who with don't him like tootsie rolls i like tootsie rolls yeah and he also has cigarettes I, I, that I can see a lighter because uh -huh. how are you gonna light the cigarettes oh, yeah. in your grave it's without a lighter? Light itself. <laughs> <laughs> and a bottle of Jack Daniels, which we did see a little. Somebody left empty a little, bottle of little Jack shot bottle. on there, so they yeah. must know that little known fact too so, yeah, that he liked his Jack Daniels. He liked his cigarettes, and apparently he liked his Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> uh, there's a couple other people to mention out here that we just kind of ran across that were that were buried out here. Um, the Box Sisters, a couple of the Box Sisters mm -hmm. are buried out here. If you haven't heard of the Box Sisters, they're big in the 1920s and 30s. Yeah. Um, did stuff on TV with like Bing Crosby and some other famous people but what they're most famous for is for coming up with the song singing in the rain, rain. they were the ones who wrote and initially started so, yeah. that song so that's where it came from you watch Mary Poppins the box yeah. sisters wrote that song <laughs> and they're buried here yeah. one row over from Frank yeah so very close uh, very cool place it is it's awesome. a beautiful cemetery There's a veteran thing up here we're gonna go take a look at yeah Well, this area we're standing in now is the veterans chapel area and so i guess um all the service members who are interned here this is where they hold the service, service for them very cool little area dedicated to the service members yes i love it yeah and we did run across several out there yes. which we normally do mm -hmm. um, i always look for them now this cemetery the first interment here was in 1957 so this is not an old cemetery no that and that explains why everything's really so really the farthest back nice. we saw was like world war one yeah uh, there were some world war one folks world war two 
um, some Vietnam yeah. stuff. Yeah. There was even, we saw a POW. POW from World War um, One. We saw a Purple Heart recipient. Mm -hmm. We've seen a lot of other service members too. Yeah. And um, from different branches. So very cool to see them out very here. So cool. we stopped for a second, pay our respects to those to those veterans. And this is just a really cool place. It's if you get the chance. It's very quiet here. Yeah, it's in Cathedral City, which is right outside of Palm Springs, Palm mm -hmm. Desert area in California. The Thousand Trails is probably 20 minutes down the road. It's so that, yeah. if you're staying there, it's really easy to, to find. Um, if you go online, you can find the sections and the areas that Sonny and Frank are buried in. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to find. Took yeah. us a few minutes, but we were able to, to find it. Yeah. And uh, I know this is a short video, but we really wanted to show you this. And we didn't really have a, a lot more to do here. Uh, so we'll probably make this its own video. But we just really wanted to share this this with you because we thought it was cool, yeah. including all the cool facts that we found out about Sonny Bono. Yes. Yeah, and about Frank Sinatra. And let us know in the comments uh, if you knew any of that stuff or if you didn't know that stuff. Um, how cool you think that is or yeah. or how surprising some of those facts are to you and uh like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero and um if you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road everything you need to know is down in the description of the video uh, we appreciate you watching see you next time bye, bye.